Good morning, actually, rock stars. It's uh, about 2.40 a.m. here at my one of my secret hiding places. It's not so secret if you've read my books, duh. Hey, uh, quick thing I want to tell you about. I'm, I'm a bit excited because I got to meet um, Ted Nugent today. Yeah, Ted Nugent. Uh, an incredible American, uh, someone who not only loves America, uh, very patriotic, but he actually loves the land. You know, he's one of those great stewards of of the environment. Just a Superman uh, today or yesterday was his also his 26th anniversary uh, with his lovely bride. Uh, got to meet them. And uh, I handed him one of the books, Secrets Revealed, and just gave him a brief, a brief background on what it's all about. He was excited. Uh, he was excited because his dad uh, was an NCO in the military, and uh, he has a lot of a uh, lot of respect for the military. Uh, something you don't hear much in, you know, from entertainers anymore that was a dramatic pause if you didn't catch I don't have my regular cup by the way but anyway I'm drinking my coffee but Mr. Nugent uh, sent me a message just uh, a little bit ago saying that he's going to you know promote my book so I'm, I'm really excited about that he said the truth needs to get out there he said, people need to know. I'm hoping you guys have gotten your book already. Secrets Revealed, Terrorism USA. Okay, let me hit a few headlines here before I finally try to get to sleep. As you can tell, I'm fighting a cold. First of all, uh, King Abdullah died, the king of... Uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. This marks a very precarious time in the Middle East because it's the same time <clears throat> that the president of Yemen has stepped down and his cabinet. Why is it a precarious time? Because this is a time that Iran may just capitalize on to start to force their grip of region of the region there in the Middle East. We already know that they have inserted themselves into Iraq to help them with the fight from ISIS because the U.S. just stood by woefully ignorant. And now with the king passing and his half-brother taking over, uh, his half-brother uh, claims that he's going to continue uh, the movement forward and part of that movement is to uh, remove Western influence and get back to the if you wow can't believe I'm saying this to the basics of Islam and uh, and then also uh, you, you couple that with um, you know Yemen's presidency dissolving, stepping down, and we have instability like we've never experienced before. And I'd like to know what, well, I'm not going to go there. Uh, so keep an eye on that, especially with the latest intelligence reports that uh, one of our allies have discovered the Iranians have been working on a new missile. Well, I've known about that for years, but no one wants to read my books. <laughs> so keep an eye on the news. Uh, understand that this is going to be some tough times, uh, some very scary times. Um, we, ha we have an administration that does not want to uh, step forward and call Islamic terrorist Islamic terrorist. Um, we have... Uh, a country that is months 
away in, I in Iran, by the way, a country in Iran, months away from um, establishing themselves as a nuclear state. And uh, all the U.S. media seems to be worried about is uh, the inflation gate, if you will, or whatever they're calling it, the, the NFL footballs that are underinflated. So guys, I, ju I just want to um, keep, your, keep your eyes open. Watch the oil prices. They're going to start going up with the passing of the king. And uh, I, just, uh, I just wish us all well. It's going to be a very interesting weekend because you know that on Fridays, today, is when a lot of the big news comes out. And when the big news comes out, they, they do it on a Friday, the controversial news. They do it on a Friday so that uh, that way it's swept under the carpet over the weekend and no one's really paying attention. So watch carefully today. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, soon. Uh, to Ted Nugent, you, sir, are an incredible, uh, um, an incredible American. And it was an honor and privilege to talk with you. Enjoy Secrets Revealed. Um, and I hope you could sleep uh, after reading it, especially if you just read the first chapter and the last chapter. But y'all take care, rock stars. I'm going to try to get some medicine in me, uh, finish drinking up my coffee, and get me some shut eye in this most beautiful place. Oh, man. Shout out to the Envy Restaurant. Google it. E N V Y. I just had the most amazing meal there and I dare say it was life changing it was that good alright rock stars hey good night God bless America God bless our troops God bless our border patrol mm, got to talk to a few of them today again y'all take care